All right, I'm showing you how to build the Pong game. And you know we've got the game where pretty much things work. We can keep score. We've got sound effects when they hit the edges. But let's make it so the user can turn the sound on and off. So if they're you know, on the bus and they want to play the game without all the, the sound effects, they can, they can do that. So we're going to go to the designer, and we're going to add a checkbox. And this is just gives the user a choice on something. I'm going to stick it right in that same horizontal arrangement. And I'm just going to put the text uh, sound on here. All right, and I'll just rename it, you know, the sound on checkbox. Okay, so we've got this checkbox that shows up in our UI, and in the block somehow we need to to use that um, checkbox, right? And um, you know, so when I did did my sound, one thing I didn't do, do was was add a procedure. Okay, and you know, kind of the way we did our our um, sound effects is we have a single sound component, we change its source, and then we play it. Okay, and it probably would have been better, or you know, at least when I refactor it, it's it's nice to have a procedure. Okay, so I'm going to grab a procedure block, and I'm going to call that play sound. And this is actually going to help us, you know, make our code simpler in using the checkbox too. Because one thing I could do is with the checkbox, see if it's checked in three different places. So it gets a little complicated. Instead, I'll create this procedure, play sound. I'm going to give it a parameter, and that parameter is going to be the sound file, right? Or we can just call it the source. Okay. And, you know, pretty much I just need to copy this, one of these, you know, repetitive pieces um, over there. I'm going to grab buzzer note and no ink. Okay, we're going to need those, but we're not going to use them directly there. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to call play sound um, instead of instead of doing that. Okay. So um, let's see. When collided with, oh, for, first of all, what I want to do is set the sound.source. So when I call play sound, I'm going to play sound, but I need to set the source property to whatever the user sends me. Or not the user, but the the other block that's calling me, the caller. Okay. <coughs> okay. So when I collide with, just to get back things back to where they were, I want to call play sound, and I think for collide with we, we used the no ink .mp3. Okay. And when I um, reach the bottom edge, I want I still want to call play sound, but in this case I want to use buzzer .mp3. And if I hit some other edge, okay, I want to call play sound, and I want to give it uh, note.wave. Okay, all I've done is just kind of refactored, made things a little cleaner, okay. I got rid of some repetition, and now I can just call play sound in these three different, different places. Okay, that's great, but, you know, what about my checkbox? So, one thing that this helped for is now I can have a single if statement within this procedure and which will check whether I should actually play anything. So play sound might not play anything if my checkbox, right, if the sound on checkbox is um, unchecked. Okay, and actually let's, let's just make him checked to start. So I'm going to start him out as checked. Alright, so back in my blocks I just need to add a single if statement here and um, my if statement is just going to ask, is the checkbox, or the sound on checkbox, is it checked? Right? So I just need the checked property. And I could say, is checked equals to true, but that's kind of redundant. This is either true or false, and if, if it's checked, I want to I want to basically play these sounds. If it's not checked, I don't want to do anything. Alright, let me, let me test the code. So right now, the sound is on. Let me touch start. And let's see if we get our sound effects. Yeah, we got our sound effects. Okay, let's reset. Now let's uncheck. Hit start. I'm not getting sound effects for any of that stuff. And I don't even think I'll get my buzzer either. Okay, good. So I think our, our code is working. Let's just test one more time. Check it, start. Yep, we're getting it. Okay, cool. So what we did was we had some repetitive code. You know, there was a couple blocks we used to actually play a sound. Um, we moved those into a procedure, and the nice thing about that was 
all these places where we wanted to check whether we should play the sound or not, we could move them directly into the procedure play sound and have a pretty clean piece of code to handle that change with the checkbox.